Drew Draco. Did you know they banned Mystic Mind? Wait, you already, you already knew? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, because no one likes me? It's not my fault I'm a floodgate deck. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Wait a minute. I know. Wow, my friend over there on Morph H takes some time to reflect on the banning of Mystic Mind. I should probably try to make him feel better, as a good friend would. I'll teach you guys what a Morph H actually does. All of these cards. Every single one. <laughs> well, I should go over the monsters first. All the other four monsters share this exact effect. Find it on all of them. Make so if their pendulum summon or flip face up, neither of you can special summon an extra deck except a morph age monsters. The these two. Makes it so nothing can be special summoned from the extra deck except a morph age monsters. It doesn't matter how they were summoned. And all the monsters have a very similar pendulum effect. As yes, of course, they're pendulum monsters. Makes so once per turn during your standby phase, you must tribute this. Or destroy it. And while you're trolling a morph age monster, they gain their own little special something. Gluttony makes it so a monster effects can't be activated, except a morph age monster. Leshy makes it so it does that same thing, but with spells. Greed does the same thing with traps. Envy doesn't do the same thing? Hm. It makes it so cards can't be used as chain link 2 or higher. Oh. Raft makes it so you. Neither player can tribute monsters, except a Morph Age monsters. Wow. What is Pride? Makes it so neither of you can can take effect damage? Hmm. Sloth makes it so cards can't be added from the deck to the hand except by drawing them. Huh. Well, hopefully you don't have any cards in the archetype that really wants us to add cards to our hand or anything. Um, sorry, I think I got an affection. Uh, Goliath makes us so anything that would be sent to the graveyard is banished instead. And now it's time for the, the two spells and one trap. Wait, what do you mean a morph age? You don't have a field spell? It's right- uh, That- A morph factor persona? It- It's not a- It's not even a morph age card. You can't add it- It's- Leshy turns it off. This can't function when Leshy is on the field. Hmm. Uh, okay, but it's probably really good. It makes it so my Amorph Age gain more attack. Okay, but what about the rest? Um, up to twice per turn, if an Amorph Age monster you control is tributed, I get to draw one card. But I can banish it. Uh, it will be tribute Pendulum monsters from my hand or field whose total level equals eight. Then I can summon a Morph Factor Pain, the Imagination Dragon, from my hand. Wait a minute. Is this just a ritual spell disguised as a field spell? Well, good thing our continuous trap card's better. Sort of. Maze of Sword, each Amorph Age monster gains 100 attack for every Amorph Age card, including itself. Not including the field spell! Definitely not upset about this. But, we might have one monster in our field, two in our pendulum zone and one in our spell zone. So about a 500 attack increase. It makes it so as a hard once per turn. If a monster in the hand or you patrol is tributed or destroyed by battle or a card effect, you can add an amorph age card from your deck to your hand. Oh what does the trap do though? It it must be really good. Cause it's a it's cause it's, it's a trap? Well, it makes it so your opponent loses the attack, instead of you gaining attack, and if a card in your pendulum zone is destroyed, except during the damage step, you can place one or more phage pendulum monster from your deck into your pendulum zone? Huh. So, I, I guess you can make it so your, you, during your standby phase, which you would normally have to tribute, why not just get resources back for free, except for this. Just don't play the field spell. Just, no, stop it. Okay. Now we've gone over all the cards. What's my preferred deck for this? You've been seeing it all video. 
this really is it the, the, the side deck though you can just make that up and most of the extra deck just do whatever want more floodgates go for it you want OTK go for it you want disruption go for it hmm. and we have one two three ways to get into whatever dragon we want oh then three to get into that card and then two to get into that card and one to get into sky iris which gets us into revolution huh so that's like nine different copies of the same card pretty good and mystic mind sure it, it got banned but why don't we just play this instead messenger of peace you can't attack us anymore oh but i also can't attack you and the ones on monster has 1500 or more attack power and it has to pay 100 life points huh but I can just destroy it. It's completely optional for me. So I'm not going to be like losing in time or anything. And it's only during my standby phase. Oh, sweet. And of course, all our monsters, pendulum monsters, are either scale 3 or 5. So we do have to put in some other cards. And of course, we don't want to clog up our pendulum zones. So, we can just throw this in there. It returns to our hand. It's a scale 9, so Goliath can be summoned easily with this. Oh, and if you destroy your Morph Age Monster, don't worry about it. Just summon it back easily with this. And you have some your extra deck? Meh, just bring them back to your hand. Oh, but we don't care about having many cards or extra deck. Why don't we just get rid of most of it? Let's bring it two cards. It is fun just telling you what a card can do. Why don't I, instead of telling you, show you? Oh sweet, this is an amazing hand! We can... Activate this. Just search a card by paying 500 life points. And then we can... Grab Gluttony! After grabbing Gluttony, we activate it, putting it into our pension zone. <laughs> And we have to have an Amorph Age monster on the field, so we're glad to use effective function, so we summon Wrath. Why not just set two more? And and Our bones gonna do nothing. It's a test hand. Our bones are not allowed to do anything. During the end phase, I like the pendulum switch, which allows me to take one of my monsters in my pendulum zone, and well, switch it out for the monster show. And now, look at this! We don't have to tribute anything. And, why not just put it right back into our zone? Time for everything to get finished! Battle! Attack! And turn. This is really all this deck can do. Set up a couple floodgates. Hope for the best. Get a really small monster on the field. Well, yeah. Might as well just summon Gluttony to our field. My turn. Well, like the Goliath, by attributing a monster. Then, Pot of Scravagans, banish six. Draw two. Ooh, Infection! And we can't really use this. If we activate it, we have to destroy one of our cards. What are we going to be destroying? You have to, to destroy this. Or do we? I know what to do. Activate this, place it in the pendulum zone, this. Now, this card has become useless to us. It's only used its effect this turn, so we add a Revolution Dragon to hand. We activate Revolution Dragon's effect, paying 500 life points. Then we can add uh, pride. Yeah, pride. Because you know, pride is stronger than wrath. That would not raffle about this. Add pride. Normal summon pride. Set a card face down. Let's battle. Attack. Enter. And during our opponent's end phase. Oh, look at this. We can just switch out a pendulum monster for a normal monster. 
we're gonna let this die. Get this. Well, we don't really need it anymore. But what we do need is a revolution. But I, we help out with this. I'll search. And what do we add? Well, add another pride. More pride? Never hurt anyone. No, pride doesn't hurt anyone. Let's summon back a pendulum monster and battle. Attack and attack. Well, that was easy. Well, I lost. Yeah, the deck doesn't really hold up good when your opponent just decides, Wait a minute! I can attack! What are they gonna do about it? Nothing. The answer is absolutely nothing I can do. I, I, I know I misplayed a little. Maybe I should have used Dark Vula No More a little bit earlier. Yeah, it would have probably helped. But come on. Yeah, there's, there's no way you can fix this. The story of Morph Age. But, like, if my opponent just brings on a monster and hits my monster, oh, I can't do anything about that. Sure, I don't take effect damage, monster effects don't work, or traps don't work, or spells don't work, or everything gets banished, but it doesn't help when your opponent just summons a 3000 attack point beater and attacks. Yeah, I was dead when I started.